Hello guys! In today's video, we'll see how to bring a KML file from QGIS. We'll export the layer and bring it to click. And we'll cross this with a data set that we found here in Simple Maps, where we have population by city. We'll use the county to be the key between the two tables. And we'll create this dashboard from scratch. Here we can filter a state. We'll see the population by county. And we can also see the points representing the cities. There's also a heat map, and you can download the QBV app from this video in the description. That's it, and I hope you like it. So first, we'll open QGIS. We'll use the HCMGIS, this plugin right here. I already have it installed in my computer, but I will show you how to do that. And my apologies because my QGIS is in, is in Portuguese, but I don't think it's a problem. Like It's the same navigation. First, we'll go to plugins right here and manage and install plugins. Click here. This list will pop up and then we'll look for HCM GIS, this one. We'll have the option to install it right here. In my case, it's already installed, so I will just close it. Now you see the plugin right here. So let's click on it. Go to download open data and click on the second option, which should be global administrative areas. Click on it. Now we need to select the country from this drop down list, find the US. And I will leave the level of detail as it is. Now you can browse another folder to save the shape file if you prefer. But in my case, I will just hit apply. This warning will pop up to show you the size of the file. So let's just click yes. And it will start downloading the file. Download completed. And now we have three layers on the map. Let me just uncheck some of them. Let's see which one is the one we want. In this case, I think it's the second one. Yeah, it is. So the first one is country level. The third one that should be actually the second because it has one. Um, it's the state level and then we have the county level. So we will export the brown layer. Right click on it. Go to export. And save as. First, let's define the format of the file. In our case, it's KML. And then we're going to browse the name of the folder that we want to place this file. Give your file a name. I will name it US Map County Layer and save. Hit OK. And we will see the progress bar right here. The task was concluded and now we have the KML file. Before we jump to click, let's quickly take a look on this file. The KML is basically an XML with geographical data. So we have the columns and it's all structured. As we can see here, we have some columns and the name one is basically the name of the state and name two is the name of the county so just keep that in mind and let's now load this kml in our click i will now create a connection with my folder and create a new section in here let's take a look on this file and see how we can load it KML, there we go, select. As you can see, we don't have the same structure that we have in this file because the KML is bringing only the geographical data. However, the order of the records is the same. So we have here the first row and we have 86, 81. If we go back, we'll see 86, 81 in here. Basically, this is the first row and then we have the second row and so on. So what we're going to do, we'll load the KML and after that, Let's insert the script. We'll create a new column with the number of the row. And I'll call it row number. We'll now load the same table, but with the XML structure. So the file is now read as KML. Let's change it to XML. There are multiple tables, but we only need this one, the second one, because we can identify that name one, this column here, this record, relates to Alabama, which they state. So name one means state and name two means county. So let me uncheck all the other ones. And let me just cut this part. So the columns we're going to use are the simple data table as the data that we want. First, let's create a state column. So I will call this state. 
and the name will be used only to restrict our table. So we're going to load this where the name is equals to the name one term. With that, we don't need this column and we need to create a row number as well to relate to our previous table. So now the first record from this table will be related to the first record from this other table. And we're going to do the same thing with county, just changing here the state by county. And here in the where clause, it's not name one, it's name two. Let's give our table some names. This one is the area. And we don't need these columns. State and county. First, let's just load it with the association, but after that, we're going to left join the tables to create one single table to store that in a CSV file. It's important to mention that we could be using a for loop to load all these possible combinations in multiple tables and joining them automatically. But in this example, we will only load the state and county restricting with the where clause without variables. Let's load it. There we go, close. Now I'm gonna create two filters and one map to see the county plotted on the map. By default, the map only loads 1000 objects. So we have to go to the options in the general settings and change it to, I don't know how many, let's check 4000. Okay, it worked. Let's now change the colors using a dimension, which is state. And we can filter, for example, California. And there we go. Now, in order to improve the performance, let's create uh, one single table with the left join and store this in a CSV file. It could be a QVD file because it will be much faster and lighter. But maybe some other folks that don't use Click want to use the layer in CSV and they can open it in their computer. So let's just start it as CSV. I just came back and decided to save both QVD and CSV. So I have now both of them in my folder. And we can now use external tables to relate to the county column, right? In this file, I won't load this section again. So I will create a new one and add an exit exit script at the end. And call this section store. Here I will load the table I just exported from the QVD. And I don't need the row number anymore. And now we're going to load a new table. I found this website called Simple Maps and they have a free database in the basic settings here. I downloaded it. And we have the city, state name, county name, latitude and longitude, population, and some other information here, zip code and so on. But we can relate the state name and county name with our file and also bring the latitude and longitude from the cities. So that's what we're going to do. Let's load this table. I've added it to my folder in here. So I will bring the information, simple maps. US cities XLS. I call this table city data and now I will create a key to relate these two tables using the county name and the state name. I'll put both in uppercase because this will avoid case problems. Now let's load it. Before plotting the data on the map, let's create a table to see if it's aggregating correctly. Let's sum the population by city. And apparently it's working properly, so we can go back to our map. I will now add a point layer to bring the latitude and longitude from the, the cities. Our point will be the city and the location will use the latitude and longitude fields. Okay, now we have the points. Let's just change the colors very quickly just to better visualize and we'll start to customize the app. In order to save your time, I will jump to the final map and explain what I did. So this is the final result. Let me show you what we have here. First, we have a map with some layers. If I click on the state layer, it will break down in counties. And we have the options to show a point map 
and a heat map. We can also see the county name when we zoom in a little bit. Behind that is a map with five layers. In order to display the layers, we are using this condition here in the layer display. First, in the state layer, we check if there is any state, county, or city selected. And to use the point and heat map, we have two variables in which the value zero means hide. So we change the value of these variables in here. And this is also assigned to the condition in the display option. On this chart, we have a drill down. So if we select one county, it will break down in cities. And then we can show the points. And two KPIs showing the sum of the population and the number of cities. This concludes the navigation of this dashboard and this video. You can download this app in the description. And if this was useful for you, let me know and subscribe. See you in the next video.